All right, welcome to another War Tales video. All right, this one is a little bit different today. Uh, it's not a tutorial per se, though I do think you can probably take the tips and things that I'm going to uh, teach you in this video to help you out in a couple of the fights in the game, you know, in particular against Matthias Lund, one of the uh, the early champions in the game, or the first champion in Tiltron County. And the aim of this run is going to be uh, a little bit of a speed run to see how quickly I can kill him on hard hard. Now I have just started the party here. Um, I haven't kind of quite rolled what I would consider the ideal composition, but I'm going to see how it goes anyway. Um, we have to hope for just a tiny little bit of luck in town with uh, one of the characters, then we're going to have to kick this guy out and replace him. Hopefully we can. Uh, and then if we can do that, I'm, uh, I'm hoping that we might be able to get Lund down within uh, about two days of playtime. That's, that's the goal. Um, so not quite, um, or maybe even before our first set of wages are due would be ideal. Uh, we will see how we go. I'm, I'm really not sure whether this is possible or not. Uh, but all we can do is try. All right, so we're going to kick off. Uh, I'm going to be skipping things like the Comfrey because we don't need it. And the reason that I'm using um, game time measurement rather than the overall time it takes me to take the video, make the video even, is I just kind of feel like um, I, I might speed parts of the video up or slow them down. Um, and then overall, you can still sort of see what the actual uh, counter for the video is at. So I don't think it matters too much whether um, I take, you know, two days or five days to do it. Um, Matthias Lund is a pretty tough fight uh, for anyone who has tried him, I think you'd agree. Uh, and um, yeah, just kind of trying to take him out as early as I can to see what is possible. So this should be fun. Alright, so I'll talk a little bit about um, what I'm kind of looking for in terms of party composition and uh, what I what I think is going to be possible. So the the initial stuff that I've got to got to think about and try to um, organise around is what my actual strategy for Lund is going to be. Now I've got a bit of an idea of how I want to try to take him out, uh, and it's basically using a little bit of a strategy where. Um, one of my characters is uh, basically just permanently getting smashed by Lund. That's going to be my brute down here. And my other characters are going to be um, kind of running in, healing him, stopping him from dying, that sort of thing. And um, I'm just running to the wrong spot there. Oh, I should be okay. Uh, and yeah, stopping him from dying, that kind of thing. And then, um, yeah, hopefully um, killing him. Uh, quickly within a few days. I'm, I'm kind of curious. So I do need to have, and my, my current aim is to have a few people with the heal skill. So we've got uh, most, the we need a few people with Valorous support, we need a few people with heal, and we just need kind of the, the meat shield who's going to take a whole bunch of damage, which is going to be our brute here. Um, so everything that we do is going to be focused on getting to that fight as fast as possible. Uh, so we're going to skip a lot of the things that you would normally do at the start of your run. Um, I will will make one run where the aim is more just to, to show people how to get off to a good start. Um, but this one is, uh, is all just focused on Lund. Um, there's not really any point uh, in doing this particularly. Um, you don't necessarily want to kill the champions when they're at a low level because they do drop worse gear. So you can see we're already eight hours in because of that first fight. So getting to him, uh, even getting to him within a few days is going to be an interesting, interesting challenge. So this guy has heal, but he's a warrior, so we're not interested. This is an archer who we would take, except he doesn't have heal. And our third character is a warrior. Now, the problem with warriors is they don't have any... Um, any Valor Point generation that we can use at level 2. Uh, he's got Run, that's not going to do it for us. And another Warrior. Depends on how many turns Lund is going to take us to get down. Um, Alright, because our Ranger is really kind of just as good as anything else without Heal. But we definitely need heal. So, uh, what would he cost us to hire at the moment? 30, 60. If we go into our camp and we get rid of our ranger, 
It doesn't have heal. What's he costing us after that? 2040. So we still need to get uh, an influence, which we can pick up quite easily from the market. So I'll head to the market. Give this guy a piece of bread and get some influence. And we'll go back into our inn and... Was this our, this our recruit? No, not him. This guy. Alright, let's let's see how we go. We're just, we're just going to take him. Alright. Um, now that we've got him, we have some spare rags and a dagger to sell. That's fine. We can sell those. We're going to need a little bit of food to keep us going for another day or two. And we're going to need a little bit of experience. So we do need to get um, the ranger and the archer up to level 2. Um, we may or may not worry about getting the warrior up to level 2, we're not actually going to be using any of his uh, level 2 skills, and what we're going to have to try to do is take Lund down within sort of 5 to 6 turns. Um, that is going to be a challenge. Uh, the other thing we might do is go and see if we can recruit Hackett. Uh, that's another option for someone we can use. Anyway, yeah, we'll continue. Um, I don't think I'm going to be buying anything or making any equipment. And we'll buy just a few strips of dried meat so we have two days worth of food. So we're going to be leaving Stromcap and heading out into the wide world to see if we can take out Mr. Lund. Um, we do need to level our archer and our ranger up to level 3, no, level 2, sorry, level 2, so that we can get the uh, uh, Valorous support uh, skill. And I also want to see if we can um, pick up a, a little bit of knowledge just by sort of running around and scouting out locations to give us a little bit of an advantage when we... Um, when we get into the fight, you know, just some extra Valor points um, and that kind of thing. Um, we've already got the... So we're just going to start having a look in this forest for a fight, if there is anything in the forest to fight. It does not look like it. Uh, and I'm all collecting some random things around here just because I'm, I'm used to it than anything. Uh, might have a little bit of a look in Lund's farm. Troop fatigue. Let's let's steal this. Why not? Also give our archer a little bit of extra dexterity. Fantastic. I don't think there's going to be anything in chests that we need. And we are almost at the end of day one, and we haven't managed to find a fight yet. A little bit worrying. What have we got at the old lighthouse? Let's have a have a quick peek before we three hoodlums and two poachers. No, that will definitely kill us already. All right, so not gonna not gonna eat our fatigue bonus food just yet. Probably could have. All right, and we need a fight that is winnable. Some wolves, yes, we will take on some wolves, we will try to surprise them. Six wolves, let's hope they don't have too much health. Okay, so overall, as I said, we need to get some people up to level two. Um, there might be parts of this video that I speed up. 13 health each, uh, three on that side, three on that side. I think we can keep a few of them away from us. There's a bear trap there that we might want him to run over. Uh, we'll deal a little bit of damage. And we know these guys are going later, so we'll try to run away from them. Alright, I might let that wolf just kind of come towards him over that trap. And I will run down here and start on this wolf. Let the warrior take a couple of hits. I don't really mind if I lose their armor. Obviously, uh, five armor is going to disappear pretty quickly. Uh, and I do want to get behind this wolf, but I also don't want to be closer than the Brutus. Alright, one will finish. Let's just run away that little bit. 
All right, a trap, three damage. Any little bit of damage is going to help. And what we're going to do now is run up so we can shoot Mr. Wolfie. Good. Brute should do at least three damage. And he can run away from these wolves as well. Alright. Bleeding. That is okay. Uh, I do want to try to preserve my valor. But that is alright. Now, where can this guy get to? He can get a long way. He can get a long way. I'm just going to run away for the time being. Deal some extra damage on the next attack still anyway. Alright, we definitely don't want our archer to get surrounded by wolves, but we can stop that. Alright, let's get our brood involved again. He's still got some armor, some health. Dealing that extra fury damage. And again, thank you very much. Fury is a very nice skill for that. Alright, now let's take this wolf out. It would be better to have our ranger uh, able to attack from behind, um, but not really an option there at the moment with the skills we have. Uh, he is likely to take a wound in the, at the end of this battle, but that's also fine. Uh, I could heal him right now, but I don't think it's quite worth it. So he's not going to die from bleed for the next turn or so. And whilst our archer has some health, I don't actually want him to get hit by the wolves yet. <laughs> Alright, he can only attack one, so we will attack him. Uh, he can't even get to one at the moment with the archer in the way. Oof, down to one HP. Ah. That's right, our warrior can take a hit. Alright, here we're going to use the rogue. See, so yeah, it's only doing ranger, sorry, three damage. Uh, Wrath is doing eight, so let's finish this fight off. Oh, I can't use it because he's not on under half health. Never mind. There we go. We get him anyway. Uh, I'm not going to use Wrath, so I can save that Valor point, and we can take out our Wolf before he attacks again anyway. Okay. We'll fight down. How much experience do we earn? 45. That is not bad. We pick up some food we can eat. Uh, we get our Brute up to level 2, which is hmm, unfortunately not really going to help us much, except maybe for Poisoned Impact. So we will take that. Uh, his constitution is not important at all. Let's get his strength up, though. And... What's he got? I uh, can't deal a critical hit. Nah, we'll get rid of that. Why not? Sure. Uh, it's probably worth using our tools now because the next fight or two are going to be the most important ones. And we still need... We don't need our warrior to level up. We do need our archer and our ranger too. So we still need about 80 experience or so. So we'll head over towards Lund to get a little bit more experience. We're up to day three. So, oh man, two days have already passed. In the or one and a half days already passed in game time. So over here we have a band of four. Um, I do actually really like that on the world map you can see um, who they are, um, what sort of what sort of size the the group is. And I probably shouldn't even be collecting resources. I'm I'm wasting daytime by uh, by doing that. Uh, let's head into the mill. And here we can actually get a new ranger on our team. And let's recruit him. Let's have a quick look. He starts at level 2. He starts with Wrath. I would have preferred that he started with Heal. But that does give us a, another way to generate some Valor points. So it is going to work. Uh, don't actually probably need to check for food. 
might do so anyway. There we go. All right, and we should find this uh, this group of four just that little bit easier now that they are. Ooh, we couldn't jump up and surprise them. That's a pity. Now, having the fifth character in the group does mean that our experience gets watered down a little, but we're really only trying to get two characters to level up, so mm, we should be able to get it pretty quick. Alright, what have we got here? Um, got a few hoodlums, poachers, we've got a spear we can throw. These two guys are up first. I don't even know if I can do these, take these guys out two on one. His poacher will shoot him. This hoodlum will run towards the archer. I feel like what I want to do. First and foremost, let's get a ton of damage onto this hoodlum here. Alright. I'm going to spear throw him. And then we are going to... Save that attack to see if we can hit two of them in a round coming up soon. Alright, I really want to get a double dagger shot off here. Not too worried about saving up extra valor points yet. Oh, I should have double checked that. Really wanted it to kill him. Ouch. Knocking him out of combat is fine. I am gonna use that just to heal him up. That would have been it would have been nice to save two to hit both of them with his club, but alas. Oof, we run over a bear trap. But we get to engage the poacher, which is nice. I don't think our archer's gonna. Oh, our archer can get a shot off. That's good. That's something at least. A little bit of extra damage. Okay, so we're going to try to take out this uh, ranger for this hoodlum first. Really hoping for a couple of critical hits. Not to be. Not to be. We'll surround him. And we'll get in nice and close, just so we can target that poacher down. Get the poacher to attack him. Alright, warrior. Not a problem. And gonna need to generate ourselves a valor point to keep Hackett alive. Uh, yeah, this first guy's not up first, so we should be okay. Still surrounded. Oh, our poor archer. He's taking a few hits for us. And, oh, I actually don't really want to stop there, but now I have no choice. Our worry is not going to be able to attack this round because unfortunately he will hit our own character. Alright, so let's commence a surround. Poison's not going to kill him just yet. Might be that our worry gets taken down to zero as well here.
Uh, and he cannot attack, so he's going to pass his turn. Alright, we have our Valor Point, uh, so we're going to kill him. How long is Poison going to take on him? Only doing one damage per turn, so that's actually alright. You can run over, you still got a bit of armor. Can definitely take a hit. The game does get much easier once you can generate more Valor Points, that's for sure. Alright, and this fight is ours. Cool, cool, cool. Fight is down. Now Archer is now level 2. Fantastic. Another Valorous support. Now, I actually need to increase my Archer's movement. You'll see why movement is more important than a little bit of dexterity in a little while. And... Uh, we need to get our movement back up. Okay, so we only have one medicine remaining. Movement reduced by two. Nine movement on Hackett. Hmm, okay. And this unit is slowed to half their move as well. That is terrible. Okay, I feel like we're going to have to duck back to town and get some medicine. Um, or the apothecary to, to treat us there. We actually cannot deal with too many slow people. So we still need uh, our ranger to level up. I'm going to take our fatigue food here. That'll do. Happiness is not important, so I don't really care whether people are around the campfire or not. And... Maybe we can just duck up here. Oh, we got some wolves. Don't want to fight wolves just yet. Actually, the haven won't take us in at all. Or sell us anything yet, because we haven't done any quests, so that's a pity. And we might be able to use this battle to our advantage. Do we want to take out some wolves first, or some henchmen first? I think we might take out some, uh, some wolves first, and then some henchmen after that. Okay, eight wolves. Five of us, two allies. Let's put our... First of all, we'll uh, gather our squad together so that everyone's as close as possible. Our five, and some wolves. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so there's three more wolves. Probably over here, just because my squad started there. Hard to tell though, hard to tell. So this is the first wolf to go. Let's put him there so that he's going to attack that raider first. Uh, henchmen on our side is a good thing. And we will be able to throw a good spear at this one. Now I could use Wrath. I'm going to try to save my Valor Points as much as possible. Oh! I did not expect that wolf to have his turn yet. There we go. Our archer is under attack. That is not great. Alright, so this raid is pretty much going to deal with that wolf, so that's not a problem. Um, we will run over to our sist, our friend. Our friendly archer with our very slow troops at the moment. Ooh, and another one behind him. Ouch. Okay, this is going to be a bit of a tough fight. Even with the assistance. And just try to start getting that surround going. Now, a henchman should come down here and help with this wolf, um, and Erbola is um, he's pretty tough, so not expecting to have too many problems there. Um, we can take out this wolf, but I mean, our raid is sort of going to do his own job anyway next time. Probably could have used a wrath there to recover it a little. 
Yeah, Herbalar is pretty tough. I reckon he'll be fine. And we'll punch the Wolfie in the face too. Take a bit of bleed damage. Definitely don't want too much bleed damage. And hack it. Our slow rogue. Okay, so we want to start with, first of all, Yep, let's smack them both. Get rid of this one. And then we'll run over this way. That wolf will then target the henchman, which is good by us. I don't know that we're going to be able to take the henchman on after it, but let's see what happens, eh? Then we want to free our archer up in combat, so we will do just that. And galvanization will definitely help us out. So we will start surrounding. Let's say this row, this wolf first. Uh, now our archer, we can finish near somebody to give, our, give ourselves another valor point. Very nice. Okay, we now have extra valor, so we're going to use that valor. Run over here. I don't have heal on this character, so that's not very useful. And take him down. We will not let them flee though, because they're actually not damaging us right now. And killing the extra wolves might give us that little bit of extra experience. Okay, so. Let's move over and heal up this archer. And I'm just going to chop our raider friend in the back. Alright, new round. Let's just take this wolf out. And we're good. And our ranger is also level 2. So we have three characters with Valorous support. We have a lot of wounds, so I probably could have spent some money on medicine uh, right off the bat. Ooh, and we have way too many things in our bag. Uh, our carcasses are probably weighing us down, so we're just going to ditch all the car animal carcasses. Yeah, so I feel like, uh, had I bought medicine from town on day one, um, I actually would have been... And this is why we take run. We want to avoid this guard patrol. Oh, no. No. There you go. We'll just pay him some gold and continue on our way. Whew, that was lucky. Do you think they were going to steal a companion? No, I don't, don't really want to. Alright. So let us go and get some medicine and then return. So we're up to day four now. Day four, ten hours. I do wish I'd bought that medicine. We would be in a fight with Lund right now if we had. We heal ourselves up, that's going to use all our money, but that's okay. Cheaper than buying medicine. Uh, we will sell all of these. Just so that we can pay our wages as we eat. Uh, let's 
give people more professions. And we might even just go to the blacksmith to give uh, give our characters professions here as well. <clears throat> Alright, let us save it as Lund. Back we go to fight the man himself. Now we have a little bit of extra knowledge. Uh, I do want to get which one is it? Extra valor point. Let's let's just earn that for ourselves. And we might even rest. Mm, well, I'm considering resting twice just before fighting him so that we have full valor points available. Yeah, you can leave us alone, drunkards. We don't uh, don't need anything from you. Uh, and you can see that I really don't care about any of my armor or anything like that either. So the fight setup that we're going to have to use for this is quite specific. But I think we can make it work. Uh, Alright, so... Pay our warriors. Rest our weary heads. Uh, only two action points per rest, hey? You know what? I think we do need one more rest. We need at least, I think, four Valor points. So what are we up to? Day five and twelve hours. Alright. And let's see how we go. <clears throat> so he's only level two. Um, obviously level scaling is a thing. Let's see what health and armor this guy has at level 2 on hard, hard. Alright, so he's got 86 armor, 94 health. So, our brute is going to be our... Uh, he's going to be the guy that continues to get smashed every time. And our other characters are going to be there for... Let's say, moral support. Alright, so we're going to kick off by running up, poisoning Mr. Lund with our poisoned impact. Oh, it only poisons bleeding units. I should really read tooltips before I use skills. <clears throat> Whew, that is a pity. A pity indeed. Alright, uh, you're going to stop there this turn. Now I'm going to have to be a little bit careful with terrain here as well. You've got heal, you've got heal, you don't have heal, okay. Alright. And you cannot get there quickly enough. Alright, no, we're gonna have to restart this. I somehow managed to stuff up my microphone between attempt number one and attempt number two. Uh, so when I re kicked this recording off, um, I, I did something. I'm not too sure what I'll, I'll find out at some stage. Um, so I'm just doing a voiceover now of, uh, of the fight, uh, rather than whatever the, the commentary that I was, uh, doing at the time was, um, and I will just sort of talk a little bit more about the, the general strategy and a couple of other things you can do when you are coming up against, uh, Matthias, um, just because this is obviously only a strategy that I decided to use for this video, uh, and so whilst it would actually work and work fairly successfully, uh, on any playthrough, um, I do think it's a, it's a little bit more of what I'd call cheese than uh, than anything. Okay, so 
Um, I managed to get the party up to level 2 for a couple of people so that I had some um, Valorous support units. Now I wanted three of those in total. Uh, and luckily Hackett actually fills the role of our, uh, our third Valorous support unit. And that allows us to generate three Valor points per round. Um, so you would need to be able to generate those three Valor points per round because Matthias Lund hits three times per round. Um, you also need three characters with the heal. And ideally, if we'd had the most efficient party possible, um, we would have actually rolled up that third Valor, uh, Valorous uh, support into someone with heal. Um, unfortunately, we only got um, our warrior with heal. He can't get Valorous support. So we got Hackett, who has Valorous support, but not heal. So Hackett and the warrior end up actually filling kind of the the role of uh, the other two characters at the same time. They do actually help us speed the fight up very slightly as well by having a few extra characters in there, uh, or an extra character in there to do a little bit of extra damage. And what we're doing is we are trying to get Matthias Lund to target the party member, um, the brute in this instance, and we want Matthias to stay focused just on that brute. So we keep uh, the brute as the closest person to Matthias at the end of um, or in between each of Matthias's turns, each of Lund's turns, and he just kind of keeps hitting him, um, keeps his judgment on him, and stays focused. Now, we do need to make sure that our character's back is to a wall. Um, if uh, Erbalar's back here was not to a wall, he would get knocked further away, which would mean, which would, you know, ruin all of our positioning. Um, with the changes that they have made to enemy AI, we have to be really careful not to put two characters in a position where Lund can attack them both. So if I, uh, instead of um, having a wall behind my, my tank here, I had characters behind my tank, what Lund would do is actually move forward so that he could target those characters as well. So the AI has undergone some improvements from the demo. In the demo, you could actually just kite Lund forever with uh, only two characters. So I really do like to see that they've improved him. Uh, where is that now, though, is obviously, you know, there's there's ways around his, uh, his AI. Um, maybe if the devs see this, they will come up with some other horrible solution to make him hard again. Um, but I, I do feel like, uh, you know, publishing stuff like this is just a, another way for them to, to consider what's going on. Um... So each each round, um, I keep the the warrior Herbala or the brute, sorry, uh, getting hit. Um, I keep just trying to do a little bit of damage to Lund as I can with his armor and health compared to my starting party. It's actually really hard to take him down that quickly. There's no uh, there's no zerging him down. There's no just brute forcing him, um, particularly on hard hard. On easy, he's he is kind of zergable, uh, e easier to kill very quickly. Uh, so I get a little bit lucky here, yes it is here with the warrior, and I managed to inflict a bleed. Um, and on this particular turn, I not only get the bleed, but I actually get the um, brute to take a turn as well. And this is why I wanted a few spare valor points in the tank when I started the fight. So that I could move forward, uh, and I can actually use the bleed that's on him to also inflict some poison. Uh, and then keep hitting him for a little bit of extra damage at the end of each round. So any extra damage I can get on him is obviously very welcome. Uh, and then you've also seen me move the warrior off to the right. So I need to get the warrior over to uh, the rest of the group. Um, I mean, actually, he doesn't have Valorous support, so he technically doesn't need to be over near the rest of the group. I am realizing now as I record... But at the time, I felt I thought, no, I need to get him over with the group. If he's not with the group, I'm probably losing out on some potential damage. Um, he does have heal, so he needs to stay close enough to the warrior to uh, to do that heal every turn as well. Um, I do manage to get Hackett sort of coming in from behind. Uh, whilst Lund is targeting, you can actually get behind him. His arrow points in a particular direction, and you've got a higher critical chance with rangers. So a couple of ranges in this fight are very, very useful. Now, you could actually use this strategy with any party size. If you had 12 people in your party, you would actually probably find it significantly easier even to do a, a strategy like this because 
you've got more people to generate valor points. You've got, um, you know, more people with the heal ability and Lund will still only attack three times per round. So this is kind of a, a strategy that you can implement and is pretty sure fire so long as you get the positioning right. Um, your armor doesn't matter. Your health doesn't matter. You're, you're really just using his, uh, his own desire to target a particular enemy against him and uh and managing 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 to get him down in that way uh so you can see i've almost removed his armor now getting closer and closer uh and i've got to be you do have to you know stay on the ball and really maintain your positioning it's quite easy to run forward and forget to heal your your brute or your warrior at some point uh and if you forget to do that obviously they will die within that one turn um accidentally getting Matthias targeting more than one character is also an, an end to the game, as you sort of saw in that first run. Now you can see um, I just earned a title. So titles are a little something that you can earn in the game when you complete particular objectives. So any character that gets the dying status 10 times over the course of their life, not just in a single battle, um, will actually obtain a title that gives them a bonus skill point to spend. So very similar to a level up, Titles give you a skill point to spend, and that skill point will be a stat boost. Nice little critical hit there. Thanks, Hackett. Um, yeah, so titles are a, a good way to do it, and doing this Lund fight, uh, you can guarantee yourself a title on at least one character. Um, in some fights, it might even be worth just, you know, sitting there and letting someone continue to get hit down to the dying status again and again, if you really want to just keep going with the stat boosts for people. Um, you know, it is possible. It is possible. I think there was one guy in the beta who managed to get a warrior up to something like 66 or 70 strength um, on hard, and that much strength just meant that he he was basically playing the game on easy by that point with, uh, with that warrior able to one-shot pretty much anything. Um, the other strategies you can use for Lund are to do things like bring a warrior with his kick ability um, to reduce Lund's guard, which makes him easier to take out initially. You can uh, then try just kind of bursting him down with a lot of damage. Um, if, you, if you take that approach, you will still probably get a couple of guys knocked down to dying if you're going all out damage on him without sort of worrying about any defensive kind of talents. Um, it is possible on hard, mm, bringing him down quickly is a little bit harder though just because of his health, so you do have to probably use this next little strategy as well. Um, so on, on harder difficulties, and I actually make a mistake here and I ran the archer too close, so you will see Lund actually target the archer as well, but I am very lucky it was the very end of the round when I made that mistake. Okay, so sorry what I was saying. Um, if you if you do bring along some some warriors to actually tank some damage, so uh, shieldsmen, sorry, warriors with shields or brutes or um, swordsmen as well with shields can all do this. If they take the deflection talent, gives them a seventy percent damage reduction, and a brute with the I want to say like overwhelm skill, the one that makes them um, weak anyway. Between weakness and deflection, you will actually be able to take and absorb a hit from Lund. Um, you do that a couple of times and, you know, just lay the damage on and you're fine. Alrighty, so we are now uh, approaching the very end of the Lund fight. So you can see attempt number two has been successful. We managed to take Lund down. He uh, only had... Uh, I, actually, I don't even know how many rounds it lasted. Uh, but... We managed to, to take him out at level 2. Uh, we don't get too much experience, only 50 experience. We get his hammer though. Uh, and we have managed to complete it in 5 days and 23 hours. Just spending the point from his, uh, his title there. And uh, it was quite a fun little challenge. Look, that's pretty much it. Uh, so, CAG over and out.